Hello everybody, I just wanted to show you guys how to graph data for uh, lab number 7 using Excel. So the first thing you want to do is you have the volume of uh, the syringe in milliliters, and then you have the pressure in uh, kPa, and then you're going to put want to put 1 over volume in this column here, and uh, you're going to put pressure again here in kPa. So what you're going to do here is you're going to enter the data you have here. So we've got 15, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6. And the pressure, 100, oh, 100, 95, 1, 1, 0, 5, 118, 131, 139, 180. All right. So once you have these put in here, the next thing you do is for 1 over volume, you press equals, 1, slash, and you select the volume column, and that calculates the inverse volume for your first data point. Then you select the bottom corner, right corner, and extend it all the way down, and it calculates the inverse volume of all the data here. The next thing to do is the pressure here is going to be the same, so you can press equals, and select the pressure there for that one and do the same thing all the way down for all the pressures. Now the reason we put two pressures is where we're going to make two graphs. The first graph is going to be volume versus pressure. So you highlight the data, go to insert, scatter, and you want it to be an XY scatter with no lines or curves on it. And so this here shows the data. You can delete the key here and this is actually pressure but it's pressure versus volume. Okay. So if you click on here it'll whoop, relabel this and this title here you want to be pressure and this title here you want to be volume in milliliters there we go and reaction pressure is in K Oh, KPA. Now, if you look at the data, it shows you here on the data that it looks like it's setting it up as a straight line. But if you format the trend line, it looks like it fits better if it's a uh, polynomial and not a straight line, or even a power series. Looks like a polynomial is best for this data here. And that here is your line of best fit for the data provided. Then to do the 1 over volume versus pressure, highlight this, those two columns there, insert XY scatter, and here you've got the, again, change the format so it's easier to see here. Here it did a straight line for you, which looks pretty close to the data. This one looks a little bit off here. So you may um, just want to notice that, and then if you format the trend line and extend it backward, uh, 0 0.05 periods, put the equation on the chart, this will give us the graph we can use. It looks like it doesn't intersect here yet, so I'm going to move it back even further, 0.6, and that looks pretty close, a little bit further. 0.65, there it is, crossing the axis there. So this here shows the graph of the data, and it looks almost linear, not quite, but it doesn't go through 0, 0. So these are the graphs we're going to print first to look at. This is pressure in kPa, and this should be 1 over volume. <laughs> so this is 1 over volume here. Oh, volume. And so this is in this is in one over milliliters here. So these are the two graphs you're gonna want to print. Hello everybody sure there for that one. And do the same thing all the way down for all the pressures. Now the reason we put two pressures is where we're going to make two graphs. The first graph is going to be volume versus pressure. 
So you highlight the data, go to Insert, Scatter, and you want it to be an XY scatter with no lines or curves on it. And so this here shows the data. You can delete the key here, and this is actually pressure, but it's pressure versus volume. Okay. So if you click on here, it'll whoop, relabel this. And this title here, you want to be pressure. And this title here, you want to be volume in milliliters. There we go. And reaction pressure is in K P oh, K P A. Now, if you look at the data, it shows you here on the data that it looks like it's setting it up as a straight line. But if you format the trend line, it looks like it fits better if it's a uh, polynomial and not a straight line or even a power series. It looks like a polynomial is best for this data here. And that here is your line of best fit for the data provided. Then to do the 1 over volume versus pressure, highlight this, those two columns there, insert XY scatter, and here you've got the, again, change the format so it's easier to see here. Here it did a straight line for you, which looks pretty close to the data. This one looks a little bit off here, so you may um, just want to notice that and then if you format the trend line and extend it backward uh, 0 0.05 periods put the equation on the chart this will give us the graph we can use it looks like it doesn't intersect here yet so I'm going to move it back even further 0.6 and that looks pretty close a little bit further 0.65, there it is, crossing the axis there. So this here shows the graph of the data, and it looks almost linear, not quite, but it doesn't go through 0, 0. So these are the graphs we're going to print first to look at. This is pressure in KPA, and this should be 1 over volume. <laughs> so this is 1 over volume here. Oh, volume. And so this is in this is in one over milliliters here. So these are the two graphs you're gonna want to print.